Hey Hooper, welcome to week one of the final Hoop Dance Flow Session series for 2018. If you have been joining me all this time, then thank you so very much. As you know, each week is very unique. If this is your first time, then welcome, grab your hoop and let's get started. We always start with a warm up and then we're going to do some coordination maybe some skill focus. And then this month, we're actually going to build a flow session throughout all four weeks. So we're going to start off with some really funky moves this week. Now, don't worry how long you've been hooping or where you're at. All that I ask is that you drop into this space here, you come along with me and you work, you flow, you create, you play, you dance in the space that feels right for you. Because even if you've been hooping for 10 years, every time you come in to dance, you're gonna feel a little bit different. You're gonna feel, you're gonna be bringing all the stuff with you. So just allow yourself to express, no holding back, turn anything into your own or break it down, soften it a little if it feels a little bit too challenging for you. But have courage, have faith in yourself and trust yourself that you can and will move through all of this in time. You can always come back and do this class again. Okay, so each week I kind of come up with something that I want to share, usually a word or an idea or a focus. And this week, the word articulate came to mind. You can put the hoop on your waist just as a little warm up while I explain what this will mean. And then we'll go into the real warm up. So just on the waist, just let it all be loose and, and wonderful. So the word articulate, if we're speaking about our language or how we communicate, then the word fluid comes to mind. I can communicate with you exactly what it is that I would like to share instead of, um, well, I think that maybe uh, I'm not quite sure, so I don't really know what comes next. And that's okay, sometimes that happens in our hoofing as well, do you know? Um, sometimes it's so fluid and we can express the emotion, we can express the tricks and the dance so gracefully and easily. And then other times it feels kind of stuck and we're not quite sure what to do. And that's okay because we can recognize both of those energies exist. Now when we think about articulating movement, we can kind of think of like, maybe like, joints, like a, a plant or um, a body has joints. So every, if you just take a moment now and you can be dancing around on your waist or, or warming up, each week we just kind of jump into a little bit of on body just to come into the zone. So whatever that feels like for you. So if you imagine just your arm, think about the joints on your fingers, all through your wrist, hands, elbow, shoulders, and within each of those are quite a complex series of <laughs> mechanisms. And all of these joints articulate your movement. Now, sometimes with hooping, we're kind of trying to get and continue with your waist. We're almost just a few minutes, like three or four minutes here. We're trying to get from point A to point B. And the prop is sometimes dominating that. But in fact, what is happening is that we are articulating with all of the joints in our body very miraculously. Like we always don't, we almost don't realize how incredible it is. So in our warm up today, we are going to take the focus onto the articulation of all of the joints. It may not feel no, it might feel however it feels. <laughs> there we go. That is how I'm going to articulate the concept. So what I want you to do is put your hands, you can take the hoop off if you need to have a little bit of a stretch or a move around. And I'm just going to give you, this is a little bit trick restriction, but the fo there's a new focus, there's a new layer. So I just want you to put two hands on top of your hoop. It doesn't matter what size hoop you are uh, using. And I just want you to imagine that you kind of dip the edge of your hoop in some paint, any colors, all colors, whatever it is. So that's going to be allow you to kind of create this flow. And then you are going to paint the wall. You're going to paint the screen. You're going to allow that paint to create patterns and shapes in front of you. You can close your eyes if you like. So yours may or may not look like mine. You may or may not have <laughs> something on your ceiling. Now I just want you to take your focus just while you're doing this and it can you can feel into this any way you like. 
I want you to take your focus to your breath. So as the hoop goes up, you're going to inhale. And as the hoop paints down, exhale. And just try that a few times. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Never hold back. You can deepen and move into your painting any way you like. Perhaps you start to paint the ceiling. <laughs> Perhaps you start to paint in different directions because you are not one of those people that just paint straight up and down. Who said you have to do that? <laughs> Perhaps you need to pick up a little bit more paint. Maybe you forgot to paint down low. Maybe in this painting, your shoulders and your neck, they start to create this tension, but you don't want to stop. So you're going to bring new movement and fluidity into this practice. And now inhaling up, exhaling down. Full extension of that breath. Mm. Perhaps your painting becomes faster. Or maybe you just really linger at one point. Balance and hold and exhale. Now we can do this with the right hand. How's your hand feeling? You can soften. We can rest at any point and reach. And we bring the concept now of articulation. So thinking, feeling <laughs> into the joints in the body that are working, that's all of them, to create this motion. In the fingers, wrists, elbows, shoulders, your spine, hips, knees and ankles, toes. Is there a point in your body where this articulation of all joints feels a little disconnected? Is there a point in this articulation where it feels a little overactive? Maybe hands, that's our connection point. Inhale, exhale. Now, let's just take the hoop, relax a little, relax the hands really. And now let's paint across. <laughs> So we've done enough of our up and down. And so now we are going to, now we have this expansive, we're going to paint all the way around, all the way across. And just notice how the movement may come into the back of your body. The movement might feel like it articulates fully across to a complete opening of yourself. Maybe there's more space because the hands are not in front of the chest, the heart is open. And so you feel the courage to explore more. Maybe it becomes more fluid, just like the spoken word when we articulate it. Maybe there are points where you really feel like you just want to extend through those joints and then snap back. And changing hands. Beautiful. Feeling nice and warmed up and giving yourself this time to explore and dance. Time that you may not give yourself. Who's dropped the hoop and decided that? <laughs> In fact, this articulation can happen with or without a prop. And it feels equally as beautiful and it's okay to express in those ways. Just for a moment, in fact, 
for 30 seconds. Moving back into with eyes closed. Any form of expansive fluid articulation, one hoop, uh, one hand or both. Just luxuriate in your dance practice. When your mind says, I'm not a dancer, what am I doing? Your heart can say, you're dancing. You've been dancing your whole life. Why are you trying to judge it? And then we come to stillness. We bring the hoop down onto the floor in front of us and let's just step into it to celebrate that for a moment. An articulation of all of our joints in a circular pattern. Whatever that means for you, finding spirals in your fingers and your wrists and your elbows, your shoulders, gently neck, hips and knees. If you have a dominant pattern in your body, try not to think about it too much, but give it some fresh newness. Opposite direction, different spirals. No one's watching, but you get to feel this. <laughs> and coming to stillness. Feel new energy, new light, new space in your joints and your connection to the earth. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time, this time full inhale. In through the nose, fill the body, fill the body, fill the body with oxygen and life. Exhale. Give yourself a little or a lot of gratitude. Grab a sip of water if it feels right for you. And let's rock on with the next part. Okay, let's do some coordination. Usually we do a little bit of drill work here. This week, what I wanna share with you is the road or the pathway to a move that we're going to have at the end of this week's flow session. It'll make sense soon. So I'm gonna break it down now and use some coordination drills so that when we get to that part, you're gonna be feeling so fresh. All right, so what is going to happen is I want you to grab your hoop and spin it on your hand, any hand, your choice of hand. I'm on my right hand. If this is new to you, elbow in, wrist forward, thumb up, fingers out. Let's spin forward. If this is not new to you, open up those shoulders, relax just here, just kind of get juicy after <laughs> that little practice. Okay, now we're going to turn towards our hoop. Now we're going to continue to turn, and this is where we are activ activating spatial awareness. So from here, forwards, turn towards your hoop, so front plane, hoop is in the front plane, fingers always stay. And now turn towards your hoop, and what's going to happen, you'll notice, is my hoop didn't change at all, but my arm is across my body, and now the hoop is going backwards. Okay, so try that again. Forward spin, turn towards your hoop. Turn again, watch out if this arm or it's like, oh, I feel. Now, if you feel like that is way too much of a stretch for you, what I encourage you to do is start to open up unless you're injured, of course, and you can just go with the side spin. Um, or if you're feeling way too much tension today, if you've been on your computer or you have some kind of chronic uh, neck or shoulder pain, this might actually, but check with your doctor first, this might be a really nice movement for you because there's a very gentle rock that happens when we spin the hoop on the body. Um, someday, if you want to talk about it, I'll let you know how I healed a very, very damaged shoulder injury with the oscillating movement, hooping <laughs> only, actually. Um, so if it is hard for you, are you still spinning on your hands? Then what you're really wanting to do is create some space here. You can also, if it feels too challenging, you can open up the side shoulder. So we go forward spin, turn towards our hoop, and now what we're looking for here is this spatial awareness, meaning I understand that I need to create space on the left side if you're on your right hand, so I can't be doing all this crazy stuff. And oftentimes we hit 
we just don't understand how far away the hoop is or our body alignment is really incorrect. So now we try it on the left side, same thing, may feel a little bit stranger. Uh, hoop is spinning forwards. We turn towards our hoop and then we turn again. So we have this tricep extension, fingers stay up if they can. And then we have the spatial awareness of how far across we have to go. Feeling good, forwards, turn and turn. And lefty, forwards, turn towards your hoop and turn. It's going to be opening up, peeling the shoulder blades away, just making space there. Give the hands a shake if they're feeling like they're a little bit painful. If you've got a heavier hoop or if you have grip tape, then sometimes this can hurt a little. So just give them as much rest as you can. I used to bruise very badly on my hands because um, there's not a lot of flesh there. So, but then it gets better, so it doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> 